So in this section, we're going to talk about how to lay out a uh, fixed radius plot. Fixed radius plots are uh, common inventory plot sizes that we would use in, in measuring um, a variety of forest resources, but they've become a lot more prevalent in the last couple of years for uh, carbon sequestration needs and so forth. So uh, a common fixed radius plot that we will see is a 1 10 acre which has a plot radius of 37.2 feet horizontal distance. So a couple things that you're gonna need, if you're doing this by yourself, it's a little bit more challenging. Generally having two people is, uh, is preferable, but most of you are gonna be by yourself. So um, I want a nice stick, something like this. If you get a longer one or even a metal stake works pretty well. Um, a segment of flagging. So I usually take like a 24 inch piece of flagging, something along those lines, helps me out. I'll fold that in half and then just uh, hold that and tie it together so I'll have a flag on my uh, plot center stake. And then I'm going to just, I'm going to find my, my plot center. Um, for this particular lab, I don't really care where your plot center is. Um, in the future, what we'll use is uh, GPS or Avenza or some sort of uh, latitude, longitude or UTM coordinates to locate our plot centers and we'll talk about the process of how we lay those out on our units and then um, either randomly or systematically uh, put that together. So for today, we're just putting in our plot center stake. The ground's a little bit frozen, but we'll get that in, in, into the ground nice and sound. Now, all of our measurements are gonna be based upon that plot center. And what I like to do is, first thing is find north. And I do this in a procedural method. That way I don't lose trees or miscount or mess things up. And then I also keep records of my, my um, trees in that fashion as well. And so you know, plot one is going to be off of north. So the first step is to figure out where north is. North is kind of be out in this direction. So I'll take my compass and I'm going to line that to north. I'm going to put my plot center over my compass. Um, you can use your iPhone as well. Uh, so for me, this short stump out here in front of us is right on north. So I know that, you know, this tree off to the left, it's, it's a snag here with the woodpecker um, sign is, uh, that's gonna be my last tree. And that's definitely within 37.2 feet. So my first tree I need to check is gonna be that hemlock out there in front. We need to see if that's 37.2. So I'm just gonna take the pointy end of my uh, loggers tape and I'm gonna plug that into the top of my stake and I'm gonna pull horizontal distance to the hemlock. So tape nice and level and we are at 34 feet to the face. So this tree is gonna be in. This tree will be in our plot. We're gonna go now, I'm just gonna move over, move to the duck fur here. This one's at 38.4 to the face. So this tree's gonna be out. So we know the hemlock's gonna be in and I can kind of get a guesstimate now of what my radius is. So I know that that, that little looks like a cedar is gonna be in, that's gonna be tree two. Tree three, I'll go back and look from the plot center, but it's most likely gonna be that Douglas fir. And then I got three hemlocks here to my left that are gonna be, I'm gonna have to pull maybe this last outer one but those are gonna be in my plot as well. So I'll just proceed through that way. I generally try to break my plot into qu uh, quarters, so quarter quadrants. So this north, we're in the northeast quarter here. Um, and I'm gonna do all of my, I can usually keep track of about five, six trees. So five, six trees here. Then I'm gonna just come back to my plot center, do it all over again for this lower uh, southeast quarter figure out which trees I have in there, do the same thing in the southwest quarter, and then finish off here in the northwest quarter. And just keep track of my, my trees procedurally that way, making sure that I'm writing it down. So um, six trees is pretty good, um, but you can see, I mean, that's gonna be a lot. In a, in a fixed radius plot, we end up with quite a few trees just because the plot radius is so uh, so large. A tenth of an acre is a pretty good sized plot. So hopefully that helps out. 